Welcome to this tutorial, Drafts and Templates. This tutorial covers the Dangerous Goods Information System forms, or DGIS forms, and Master Form Express Solutions. This tutorial is the third in the series, Creating a Shipment. These three tutorials are designed to be taken in order, as they follow the prescribed process for creating a shipment and facilitating quick entry of future shipments in your LabelMaster shipping paper software. This tutorial is designed to make it easy to use LabelMaster shipping paper software. In this tutorial, you'll see how to use package templates, shipment templates, and shipment drafts to create hazmat shipping papers. To navigate this tutorial, either click the prompts indicated on the screen or use your forward and back arrow keys to navigate through the steps. Let's begin from the current shipment page of a previously created shipping paper. Once a hazardous material has been added to this shipment and the package is validated, you can save the packaging and shipment details used for this shipment as a template for future shipments. Using package and shipment templates can help save time and increase accuracy when preparing frequently shipped hazardous goods and repeated shipments. First, let's see how to create a package template. Open the package link in the left navigation pane. Here you can see the packaging and material specifications for this item included in the current shipment. Since we know that this will be a frequently shipped hazardous material with this specific packaging, we can save these specifications in template format for future shipments. In the Actions menu, click Save Package Template to save these specifications. Specify a name for the new package template. Then click Save. Now let's navigate back to the current shipment screen to create a new shipment using this new package template. In the Actions menu, click New. Select a form to begin entering shipment information. After you've entered the shipper information and transport mode for the current shipment, you'll add a material. Select the package template you just created from the template menu. As you can see, the specifications previously entered for this package and material, such as classification, authorizations, and packing instructions are pre-populated for the current shipment. When you're finished adding materials to the shipment, click Complete. With the package validated for the current shipment, you can now save this information, including all address, package, and material details as a customized shipment template for future shipments. Using customized shipment templates, can help you quickly and accurately create shipping papers for repeated shipments. Be sure to provide a template name for the customized shipment template. Then, save your changes. Now, let's create a new shipment using the template you just created. In the Actions menu, click New. Here you can see that your customized shipment template has been saved and is readily available for future shipments. Select this template for your current shipment. If at any point you need to stop or navigate away from the current shipment screen, you can save the information you've entered using the Save Draft feature in the Actions menu. Saving shipment drafts allows you to save partially completed shipping papers to complete at a later time or to send to a colleague or compliance officer for review. Be sure to enter a name for your shipment draft, then click Save. Previously saved shipment drafts can be easily accessed by clicking the Drafts link under the Shipment area in the left navigation pane. On the Drafts page, you can search for and manage the shipment drafts that have been saved to your account. You can easily filter your search by ownership, form type, regulation, or shipment dates. For this tutorial, you'll filter by the shipper's declaration form type. To finish your shipping papers, simply select the shipment draft and click Edit to continue where you left off. This tutorial is now complete. 
You've just seen how to use package templates, shipment templates, and shipment drafts to create hazmat shipping papers. Thanks for watching. To start over, click the replay button. You can also download a printed guide of this tutorial.